Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a crate break this time. Jaspie's High Roller Mystery Crate number three. It's a draft as well. It's a five spot draft. Big price point right here. And let's let's see what we got right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the crate itself first and we'll show you and we'll just pull out what's inside. Then we'll randomize your names. And thanks to these folks right here, your names for the draft order. And there's the draft order right there. And then, you know, we'll put your names in the draft order right here. And then we'll you select what, whatever you want to select. So this, this is pretty exciting. All right. There is the crate right here. Look at that. So we got locks on here. Got the big crate. I like these handles here. You can see on the top camera as well. Pretty nice box. I feel like we found some we found some dude on Etsy who like does these boxes. I'm gonna have to get some boxes for myself. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's see what we got. Other key maybe? There we go. Mm. What could be inside this crate? All right, good luck, everybody. Inside the crate, our first item is. Oh, I got actually grab two. Our first item is the other ones right up. 1972 Topps basketball. Julius Irving, his old Squires gear. That's pretty nice. PSA four. The doctor is in. Nice. He wears big sneakers. Ooh. These are pretty good. Look at that. 2019 Panini Donners Basketball. Zion Williamson. PSA 9. These marvels, like these comic book style ones. People really love these. All right. Nice. Next up. Nice, Mark Stokes. Thank you. I think there's a box in here. All right, we got ooh a nine five ten Trey Young. That's a twenty eighteen nineteen Court Kings basketball. Trey Young. We got centering and surface a ten, edges a nine five, corners a nine five, and Trey Young's autograph a ten. Rookie auto, nice. These Court Kings are nice. That's three right there. I think there's one more card and then a box. Ooh. Ooh. All right, next one is we got Aaron Judge. Nice. 2013 Bowman Chrome Prospects Autograph PSA 10. Aaron Judge. All rise. All right, so that's four right there, and then we've got a box. Ooh. This box is 2020 Panini Immaculate Football. Wow. Well, that's pretty awesome, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Empty crate. Thanks very much, everyone, for getting into this. All right, there you go. And now, now it's up to, I guess now it's up to everyone's, uh, the people that are involved, now it's up to their personal preference what it comes down to obviously you can look these up and check out the value and stuff and all that so 
Let's get the draft order going. So let's flip back to the other screen here. Big thanks to Gail, Matt, Richard, Carol, and Jay. I think we've got all four uh, of the five, except for Jay. I wish shoot, shot you an email, Jay. But hopefully you'll, you'll, you'll pop in when it's your turn and make it perfect timing. But anyway, thanks to all five of you for getting in, for taking a chance on this. Now we're going to set up the draft order for you. Let's roll it. Let's randomize that list. Six times. One and a five. Six times. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then six will be, just like it shows, the draft order from top to bottom. Sixth and final time. After six, it's Jay Goins. On top, down to Matt. All right, so Jay, are you here? I think, I think the obvious choice would be the Immaculate Box, but we're going to give it a few moments just to see if Jay is here to see if he wants to, uh, I don't know, maybe his personal preference would be something else. I don't know. All right, Jay, going once. We're going we're gonna to auto-draft for you. Going twice. All right. Well, Jay, we're going to go ahead and and, uh, and give you the immaculate box. I think that that would be the uh, the biggest price. Richard says no rush. Yeah, at this price point, I'm I'm fine waiting a little bit. But uh, we did uh, I did shoot you an email, Jay. I'm trying to give you a heads up. Maybe he'll pop in in a few minutes. Okay, Richard's got the second pick, and he's like, he doesn't know what he wants. So, yeah, I think we're going to go with the Immaculate Box for, for him. But just in a, but we'll, we'll see just in case. Well, we, we kind of have, have to do this now. I've got the video running right now, Richard. So we're just going to give Jay the 2020 Panini Immaculate Football Box, sealed box. So my guess is that that would be the, at least value-wise, the most expensive thing. All right, Richard Johansson still doesn't know what he wants. What do you think? Yeah, Matt, I'm sorry, Matt. Yeah, Matt, Matt's in the number five spot, but you never know. I mean, this, this comes down to, so the box is going to go to Jay Goins. It'll just come down to personal preference. Some, sometimes some people are like, that's what's fun about these drafts is that is that sometimes they don't go strictly by like dollar yeah, well, amount, you know? Sometimes someone's just like, hey, I don't, I don't like... Well, sometimes the things on is the best one, but it might not be valuable. But it might, yeah. But so, they like it. You know, like someone might one. someone might already have plenty of Zions and Trey Youngs, and they're like, you know what, I want to add this to my collection. So the Trey is not out of anything. Oh, no, it is. Sorry, check that. It's kind of hiding right there. That's out of 199. Looks like 009 out of 199. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jay Goins might have wanted the Julius Irving, but unfortunately, we'll never know. That's the Trey Young. There's the Zion, PSA 9. Trey Young's 9 5 10. Judge is a 10. And the vintage, the early 70s Julius Irving, a 4, which I feel like is a pretty solid grade for something this old. And then after Richard J will be Carol. And then Gail and then Matt has whatever 
whatever ends up being at the end. Yeah, I suppose if Jay pops in and says, I didn't want that immaculate box, he could trade it out for something if he, if he finds a willing trade partner. All right, Richard. A moment of truth. What do you think? And then, of course, Carol, you're after Richard, then Gail, then Matt has the last card. And if you want to see any of these cards again, uh, yeah, definitely let me know. I'll show you whatever you need to do. Whatever you need to see on that card. Got to do the Trey Young. Nice. All right, there you go. So let's lock that in. That's 2018. 19. Court Kings. Trey Young Auto. 9, 5, 10. Solid. All right, great. Carol, what do you think? Want me to show you anything here? I'll just show you the, might as well just show you again. There's only three cards. There's this 1972, Julius Irving. All right, graded a PSA four, indeed. That's a press proof Zion right here. Kind of hard to catch the uh, lighting. That's his press proof right in the corner right here. I like the uh, the the graphic novel design in this. I think is all has always been pretty cool. PSA nine on that. And here is the uh, here's the Aaron Judge autograph. Yeah, I think that, yeah, Richard Johansson saying crazy how those Marvels went for so much. Yeah, I think even like non Zion, just the Marvels in general, I feel like have gotten a lot of, have gotten a lot of attention. I think it just kind of, kind of caught that it's a, just a really nice design, you know, connects with the people in the, uh, in the, the graphic novel world. So I think, I think it was a, a nice little sweet spot there. Ray, what's going on, Adam? And obviously, this is one of the earliest Aaron Judges right here, if not the earliest. 2013 Bowman Chrome autograph, graded a 10. And of course, the PSA 4 Julius Irving in his Squires gear. Carol goes with the Zion. Nice. So that's 2019, 2020. Donner's Basketball, Zion, I'll just call it Zion Marvels, PSA 9. There you go. All right, Gail, you're up. Once again, final two. Gale goes with the Aaron Judge. 2013 Bowman Chrome. Aaron Judge Auto PSA 10, which leaves uh, Matt. Congrats, Matt, with the 1972 Topps Basketball Julius Irving uh, PSA 4. And there you go. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Is that is that true, Matt? Matt's like the Julius is exactly what you wanted. Oh, see, let's see, these drafts work out pretty nicely. There you have it, folks. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. That was Jaspies Mystery Crate Break number three. Thanks everyone. Thanks specifically to these people here for giving this a shot. Keep your eye out for more. I think oftentimes we have mystery crates on the Personals channel at Jaspies Breaks on Instagram, and we've got some going on right here on jazbeescasebreaks.com as well. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.